Now we shall demonstrate how we can perform the editing using AJAX. We have created a form again from scratch and we will start to do everything from the beginning. So uh, this is how it looks like. So first of all this is a table for orders. The same order we were using in our previous project. You can import the same database that we were using there and we can add and we have also added an entity model quickly here. You can go through all those steps and you will see this diagram. We can have a look at the database. It is the same database that we were using in our previous chapter. TBL orders show table data. So we have we have added so many orders here and TBL products base. Basically the same database and mod orders.edmx has been added. You can copy the same database from your previous project and add the entity models to it. For that you should create a entity models folder and uh, then you can proceed for uh, using the designer to generate the EDMX for you. Again in this project these will be the models that will be generated. One for TBL order but because to keep this thing simple we are still not adding any annotations. We will not be tackling validations here. So we are not adding any annotations right now. We are keeping the things simple. Okay. Since we shall be showing a dialog box that pops up containing the whole edit form. This will be the drop down list. A dialog box has to pop up. We have to use jQuery UI for this because it provides us a number of dialog boxes. Since we are to use jQuery UI, we must add the appropriate bundles to our layout file. We start now to modify our layout file so that we can make changes for including the jQuery UI. If you see the bundle.config, let us have a look at the bundle.config file. In this file, you can see normal jQuery, jQuery UI is also there which we have not used till today. We will now add this one. Uh, we probably used it for calendar in one of our projects. So this time we have to use it for the dialog box. jQuery well. This is for validation. And uh, scrolling downwards. You have a dialog CSS also. Just like we used date picker CSS. We can include this entire CSS and uh, we must therefore have your jQuery UI added to the bundles. Coming to our layout file, let us begin to edit it. This is the layout that we will have generally. We can now theme by base by CSS. So it will include all the CSS for your user interface controls. Then modernizer. Then scripts for jQuery. Scripts for validation in case we want to perform validations later on we can make we have added it right now so that it can be made use of later. Similarly one scripts for jQuery UI.